Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on the Slanted Lens, we're going to review the Nero Trigger. This is a great little device. It hooks on your camera, just like a pocket wizard on the hot shoe. It gives you the option of triggering your camera with either a laser, sound, light, or there's a DIY mode on there as well. It also has an HD mode that I haven't played with very much. But we, we use this today. We set up a little BB gun, and we put a little bit of flour and some balloons, and then we would shoot the balloons, and we would time it with our Nero Trigger so that when the sound went off, the sound of the gun going off, it would catch the BB going through the balloon. It's pretty amazing because you can put a delay on there, delay the time that the flash goes after the sound goes, uh, which made it so that we could time the BB to get it in the balloon. It's a bit of an exact science in that you move anything a little bit and it changes everything. When you're delaying your image by milliseconds, it makes a huge difference. How close the gun is to the balloon, how the balloon's swaying, which, which direction, makes quite a bit of difference. So with a little bit of trial and error, we shot a lot of BBs through a lot of balloons, and we eventually got some where you got to see the balloon exploding and the, the flower inside. It has a great uh, trigger method called light, so you can have fireworks that go off. Uh, any kind of bright flash will create a trigger for the camera. Uh, so that's a great way to, to use this as well. I love the laser pointer. The laser points straight back at the neuro trigger, and then whenever something passes between the laser and the neuro trigger, it triggers the camera. Great for doing animals, cars going by, any kind of triggering method where you're going to have something speed by, this is a great way to catch it. Now again, you can do that kind of situation where you move it, you can delay it so that it breaks the laser and it triggers the camera slightly later. So we took it out to Mono Lake, did some time lapse with it. It's really nice because you can do anything from long exposures for stars to short exposures for clouds. They're not our sponsor. I just think it's a very interesting product that does a lot of things you can use with fire in your camera. So it's worth having in your bag. We took this on set. Like I say, we had our BB gun, our balloons with some flour in it. We set up a black flag as a background. We put a rim light on each side with flex flashes. So a flex flash on our camera right and camera left side. It's going to rim the balloon from both sides. We then put a small soft box up front that's going to light the balloon from the front side. Now we start out trying to fire our Nero trigger and the strobes using a pocket wizard. That didn't work. As we researched and understood it a little better, you put your camera on bulb and you set the Nero trigger to only fire once when it hears a sound. Then you fire one time, that gives you your shot, and then you close the shutter. So it's the old method of in a dark room, you're going to open the shutter, the sound of the gun going off fires the strobe through the Nero trigger, then you turn it, you close the shutter, and then you have your image. You do have to do this in a very dark room. It's probably very easy to do this at nighttime outside because you just have darkness and you can work out there and have longer exposures and you don't have to worry about the shutter being open. But we did it inside and it worked out absolutely fine. So you take a look at some of that footage on how we put together the popping of the balloons. Not that it's anything amazing. A lot of people have made balloons pop and be able to record it, but it's just that the Nero Trigger now makes this extremely easy to do. Boy, back when I was in art school, guys were building their own shutters with electronics and all kinds of stuff. This is a simple method so you can replicate these kinds of results and you can shoot balloons, you can do water, all those kinds of things it makes it very easy to do. So that's Nero Trigger. <laughs> Don't try this at home. This month on the Slanted Lens, we're giving away two portable speed light kits. This is two small octodomes, two stands, two brackets to be able to set up your speed lights, put it in the octodome, and two of the speed rings to be able to set up your octodome. It comes in this great carrying case, so it all goes together. You can put your speed lights in there and you're ready to go. So we're giving away two of these. Go to theslantedlens.com, make sure you sign up to win a portable speed light kit. We're also selling this portable speed light kit at theslantedlens.com. It'll be at B&H prices and we'll throw in free a digital download of our DVD series called Mastering Strobes. Great information, $79 value. We're going to add it to this kit if you buy it from theslantedlens.com. So make sure you sign up to win. And if you don't win, make sure you purchase it from theslantedlens.com.